Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the rotational molding process. Rotational molding process is a most important process for the processing of the plastics. In this process, an amount of the plastic in the form of powder or liquid is taken and placed in one half of the mold. Then the mold is closed and it is rotated biaxially. So, biaxial direction is that it can rotate about both the x and y axis inside an oven so the heat melts the plastic and forms a coating on the inside surface of the mold then the mold is cooled and finally the part is removed from the mold there are four methods in rotational molding the first machine is vertical wheel machine this machine contains three wheels that are rotated along its own axis in the vertical direction. The three stations are loading and unloading station, heating station and cooling station. These stations contain blades so that it can mix the molds, mold plastic evenly. First. The plastic is placed in the wheel which is in the loading and unloading station then the wheel goes to the heating station at that the plastic melts and the blade causes the molten plastic to coat on the inside surface then the wheel goes to the cooling station where it cools the plastic finally the wheel comes to the unloading station so that the plastic can be taken out the water can be sprinkled on the cooling station for the cooling purpose then turret machine the turret machine also contains three stations first one is load or unload station and oven and finally cooling station the plastic material is deposited on the mold in the load station then it goes to the oven where the plastic melts and forms a coating over the inner surface and finally it goes to the cooling station where the plastic is cooled then the plastic is taken from the mold then shuttle machine here the oven is placed at the center and the stations are present on the adjacent sides of the oven the mold containing the plastic is rotated along the y and x directions and then it placed in the oven where the plastic melts and it is taken out for the cooling purpose and finally the plastic part is taken out and finally rock and roll machine in this machine the barrel is rotated along its own axis where the plastic is deposited on it and it is heated inside an oven and finally taken out so what are all the advantages of the rotational molding the molds are relatively inexpensive that is cheaper and it takes a is an easy process and different parts can be molded very large hollow parts can be made parts are stress free and very little scrap is produced because it is contained the process is in the closed chamber limitations cannot make parts with a tight tolerance and large flat surface are difficult to achieve because it is a rotational molding process and molding cycles are long 10 to 20 minutes so what are the materials used in are polyethylene polycarbonate nylon etc nominal wall thickness is Polycarbonate wall thickness 0.06 to 0.375 inches and 0.125 inch is an ideal thickness and other materials have nominal thickness values. These are all the products that made from the rotational molding such as the garbage cans, molds, riding car for kids and boats. and chairs
suitcases etc so this is a short video friends if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge so thank you for watching